I built a gaming setup just from Temu. All right, so I have Temu on my phone. We're just gonna be searching up like gaming keyboard. There's a bunch of cheap keyboards here. There's this keyboard, which is $15. It's the number one keyboard that shows up when you search up gaming keyboard. Looks pretty good for around $15. So I think I'm gonna get this. Also it shows that 23,000 people bought it. So I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna get scammed from Temu. So I'm gonna add this to my cart. Next, we're gonna search up gaming mouse. Most of the stuff on Temu comes from China. So it's gonna be really, really cheap quality. They also have a rip off Razer mouse right here. They're not advertising it as Razer since they don't want to get sued or anything. I'm probably just going to go for this mouse. It's around $7.28. It's like a honeycomb mouse. The RGB looks really good on this mouse. It goes all around the mouse. So I'm going to add that to my card as well. We're going to get a black one. Finally, we're just going to get like any mouse pads. I'll probably just get this mouse pad since it's $6. And there's 3,000 sold. I highly doubt that they're going to not ship this out. Wait, this one's $11. The small one was $5. All right, we'll go with $11. The total only comes out to $34. That's actually crazy cheap. Okay, so first up, we have the mouse. This packaging is so small. I'd even think like a mouse can fit in such a small package. Just from the packaging, it does sound really, really cheap. This thing is like so small. So just for comparison, this is the Razer Viper Mini, and this is the mouse. They're about the same size. It doesn't feel too cheap considering that it came from Temu. These are what the switches sound like. Just sounds like some regular mouse. This is what the RGB looks like on this mouse. It's honestly really, really bright. Honestly, I'm really surprised how well this mouse is for only $12. I honestly thought we we're just gonna get like some straight Booga mouse, like some horrible plastic quality. Now moving on to the keyboard. This keyboard on Temu showed that like 50,000 people bought it or something. So I'm thinking it should be good. So $20 keyboard. Feels like a $20 keyboard. Feels really, really light. Like actually feels so light. So just from the stabilizers, you guys can hear, it's a really, really cheap keyboard. I honestly don't even know what switches these are. So I'm gonna go ahead and see. I'm pretty sure these are red switches. Wait, these are membrane. Wait, what? I thought this was a mechanical keyboard. I straight up got scammed. This is what the RGB on the keyboard looks like. It is pretty bright. Nothing too fancy. I'm pretty sure you can't change the color mode. Never mind, you can change the color mode. That's actually pretty cool. There's not too many lighting modes, but for a keyboard that can change, that's another great thing. And finally, the last thing I got is a mouse pad. This is the first time I got a cheap mouse pad that wasn't packaged with just like straight plastic bag thing. So yeah, it is pretty big. It can fit the keyboard and the mouse and you're gonna have a lot of room still. The glide isn't the best, but $10 mouse pad, nothing else you can say about it. So this keyboard is just horrible. Oh my. Every click on this keyboard registers so slow. Like it feels like there's actually delay while playing. And just pressing on these keys feels so annoying. Cause like obviously it's membrane and it's not as fast as like a mechanical switch. So it just feels like playing on an office keyboard. And I also have to press on these switches pretty hard because like other keyboards that I've used, I could press on it pretty lightly and it registers. But this one, when I press on it pretty lightly, as you guys can see, it barely registers. But like the rest of the setup is actually pretty decent. I don't think this mouse has a DPI button, so I had to turn up my sense. And this mouse feet is pretty freaking slow. But other than that, this mouse pad is also really, really good. It's really big, only $10 on Temu. But let's go ahead and test these out in a game and see how well it does. This keyboard is basically just an office keyboard with RGB. And then they charge you like an extra $15. <laughs> There's no way. Okay, yep, I don't know why I edited it. Crack. Dead. So glad the keyboard didn't sell me. This keyboard I have to press with so much force just for it to register. Like, especially the space bar too, because this thing's like extra thick. You think I don't see you, bro? Come on now. I'm sorry, bro. I'm so sorry. This had to come this way. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Definitely once you get used to this keyboard, it'll be much easier to play on, but it's really hard for me to play on so far. Bro, chill, bro, back up. Back up, bro. Oh. Yo, he just became my friend that quick? 
I don't even know how this works. Oh, he's coming out. My raptor is killing him. No way that thing takes fall damage. Crack. Dead. My raptor was actually gonna kill him. Crack. Dead? We're crazy? There's another guy coming, bro. Everyone wants me. I'm blasting this kid. Seventy. Crack. Dead. Oh my, this is too easy. We're at eight kills with this horrible setup. That is actually impressive. He doesn't know, he doesn't know. You don't know, bro. Oh my, beamed. Oh my God. Oh, this is bullying. This is actually bullying. I'm so sorry, bro. I am so sorry. Chill. Chill, what? Bro, I put the wall down. This keyboard, did it register the wall? I don't know, man. I don't know what happened. All right, so overall, this setup isn't too bad. The keyboard is probably the worst thing in this setup, but this mouse and mouse pad are really good. This mouse is surprisingly really, really good for only $7. That's what literally surprised me. And make sure to like and subscribe. I don't really say that, so yeah.